muddy. Got some rain this morning. Do you know where we're going, Larry? I had a dollar for every time I followed you on these two trips to the Grand Canyon where you didn't have a clue where you were going. I think I'd have enough to come back next year. <laughs> Is that a metaphor for how tired you are? Yes. <laughs> My batteries are, My batteries have batteries are depleted. But tell us about the well, sunglasses, Bryce. Like, Thanks to Gomer Pyle. <laughs> they say, you know, hey, these glasses are in two pieces. Whose are they? There you go. <laughs> we got some medical tape. We got table molten. Well, uh, you know that what? would we actually fit know. the theme, right? Because I don't know. Maybe we can find some super glue later. the narrowest portion of the canyon. I might be making that part up, but I guess what somebody told us. We're still walking. Two hours trying to find ribbon ball. And we're now surrounded by greenage. But we can see we're a lot closer to I bet during the summer it's nothing to walk right up on a snake sunning itself right here in this, this trail. <laughs> Glad it's not summer. We are somewhere near the falls. We made an executive decision. Steak at Phantom Ranch is probably more important than walking 20 more minutes to try to find some that for water supplies. So they didn't bring enough water. We didn't realize it was this far. Official decision, Larry? Steak. Steak. I'm gonna get a second turn steak or falls. Second turn it back. I need some right. water. We're headed back after a seemingly disappointing trip down the North Cabob. Being reminded the Grand Canyon is really not so much about your destination, it's about the journey. The journey was worth it. A little over five miles and a little over five miles back. This is incredible. Going back to each stage.